Hey everyone, this is Lorian and I'm back with another episode of My Hero Academia. But before we jump right into this and possible spoilers, here is a little artist motion right here. Please be sure to check out the artist's links in the description box. We'll also find this episode of Boku Nero Academy. And honestly, this, you, you can really feel the aftermath after fighting Stain and all that. That even if Stain lost and the heroes won, I can really feel that in the long run, Stain definitely did win because now his goals and his idolism and all that ideology and uh, all of these things is spreading like a wildfire because that is the modern society we're living in as it is just right here something spreads i mean it's just taking these crazy youtube challenges please please don't eat any tide pods or anything like that but you know it spreads it this media we have and seeing how we do that in my hero Academia definitely seals that stain's idea spreading and that can be definitely dangerous. I mean, especially since heroes in my hero academia definitely have maybe lost a bit on the meaning of it. And uh, at least some of the heroes like Endeavor definitely. And uh, I'm curious to see. As well was I told about from previous episode about the flying Nomu. Why he did pick up uh, Midori of everyone. And... The reason looks like this. Apparently, that flying gnome was Bakugos and Midoriya's childhood friend. Well, at least Bakugos. He was one of the those that the bull and Midoriya and all that. And that is actually kind of fucked up and kind of brutal. I mean, considering how old are they? Like 15 or something like that? So that he, that he literally somehow ended up being part of the League of Villains, or simply they just took him. Who knows? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised at all. But oh, wait, that that one have a suitable um, quirk. Let's take him and fuck him up with even more quirks and became a Nomu. And uh, that is actually really, really fucked up. I mean, man, that is that is dark. Seriously, I, I, I mean. I get it sometimes surprised by how dark this show can be. I mean, we've seen these flashy colors and all that, you know. And then it's surprise, surprise. It's pretty, it do have pretty dark elements in it. Making it pretty interesting. And I'm really curious to see how this is going to lead to. Because we did see a couple of Stain's allies, I guess. Is part of the same group. We have that Stitch face. He looks, what? And then we have the Heracles dude, you know, big ass Long red eyes, super big, and then we had that cute psycho girl, and then we had a dude that has similar outfit as Stain, which I, you know, the gray vest and the scarf and all that. So I'm, wow, oh man, I'm really curious to see how this gotta be. The problem is, if they, as it seemed that they will join forces with League of Villains, and if they do that, and they're Idealism spreads. You have no idea how many it reached to. And as I said in the video, that many might even go like Batman and full uh, vigilantism because they they are not real heroes. These people they just have a title, and then it's like. But and then we have of course with Tenya there that he his arm. Now if lucky in that sense that his power is doesn't really evolve the arms. But it do I I I I'm it will do affect because first of all, even if his power is in his legs, running and jumping and all of these things demands balance, and our arms are made for that. And if we can't maybe use his arm correctly, it will affect his balance as well. I mean, still it's a vital part of who we are. I mean, it was I do know myself when I had a cast on my hand because my thumb got stuck in a drill. Though that week I had to cast, I 
only one week and I thought I was gonna go fucking crazy because damn it was so freaking annoying. It limited you realize how much you like just writing and using the keyboard and use my computer or sim simple things, just fucking pulling up my pants it was a fucking pain with one hand and one that didn't really work. So I do know that he have a long way in ahead of him and uh, seeing that he take it as his own punishment for failing being a hero. It's it's my tenja boy, man. Ah, well, but I also do have... The, I mean, I see it, there's not too many episodes left of this season. Man, it's gonna feel weird when this is over and wait for season two, season three, yeah, season three. But I do have a couple of things I will do after this. One is to make, of course, who I think is the strongest list, because it will definitely change after the previous one I did on half second season of season two. And uh, then I was gonna make my own little list, top ten of my favorite characters in the show so far, which I was suggested as well. I have planned to do because I do have a big. You do or know that I have a definitely like Tanya definitely gotta be on that list because he is one of my favorite characters. And there's gotta be a couple of characters I have in mind already, but damn that's gonna be fun. But well, I will be back with more of my hero academy very soon, of course. So thank you for tuning in. See you later on, and most of all though, have a continuous super great day.